John Morant, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And look at that suit. I am sorry. <laughs> that is dressed to impress right there. <laughs> Looking good all the way through. I, I got to just start, though. The draft, you're, we're going to get to tonight. We'll talk about that. But you were, the, the team that you were expected to go to, Memphis, had big news yesterday when they traded Mike Conley. That is a spot on the court you were very interested in, that guard spot. <laughs> what was your reaction when you heard about that trade? Um, I actually seen it this morning uh, when I was watching SportsCenter. And um, obviously, um, I can't control uh, what goes on and still waiting to see what, actually where I land. But yeah. um, Mike Conley is a great talent, and um, I wish the best for him. If those are the shoes you step into, he meant so much for that community, too. No one's going to expect you to pull that off in your rookie year. But the idea of playing on that team, Jaron Jackson Jr. was on with us earlier. He said that you two are already tight. If that is where you go, what do you envision there? Um, I'm going to just try to come in and do whatever I can to try to help the team win, um, make an impact on the court and off the court. And like you said, um, me and Jaron um, do have a relationship um, mm -hmm. A close relationship, very tight, and um, just getting to talk to him, him congratulate me on what I've accomplished, and just wishing me the best in my career. So, Ja, you were uh, you're obviously been mentioned as a top two pick for most of the year. Uh, you weren't highly recruited out of high school, though. At what point did it click in your head that, man, not only am I going to play in the NBA, but I might actually be drafted pretty high? Um, I would say this past season, um, I always knew I had the talent to play at the NBA level. Um, being under the radar made me question myself. But um, after this season, um, I had some great games against some great teams, <laughs> and my name got out there, and that's when I felt like I will be high in this draft. Why do, why do you think you were under the radar? That's Mike. Oh. <laughs> why, why, why was he under the radar? I, I wasn't there in Dallas. Yeah. That's, clearly, right? that's where everyone's coming out of now. Right? <laughs> but um, this is a question I used to ask myself. Um, obviously, um, I only can control what I can control, and um, my mindset was just to keep working and uh, believe in myself and keep God first and that eventually everything will pay off. So. Well, you mentioned you were talking about your dad when you first sat down during the commercial break. You had, to me, the quote of the week when you said at draft availability, your dad was your first hater <laughs> and that him <laughs> giving you a hard time Dude. is what helped you even when maybe some of the draft experts didn't rate you high, that you were like, I'm already Teflon because I have been able to fend <laughs> off my father's <laughs> insults to me. Oh, How did man. he toughen you up to get you to this point? Um, he used to call me overrated or uh, <laughs> say I didn't do anything or I wasn't good enough. Um, and at that time, I used to be down. Like, why is he saying that if I play, if, if I felt like I played good? But as I got older, I realized what he was doing. He was just preparing me for crowds or um, people saying bad things about me. And like I said, he was my hater before I had some. So if I can take it from him, I can take it from anybody. You, you, can't, you love this. 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 this is my favorite draft story ever. Because you don't no, see that. Nowadays, no, no. you never see that. It's, it's the opposite. opposite. It's, it's always opposite. opposite. Yeah. The Team guys Morant, get legend. coddled, right? Yeah. And the, this, I mean, Jamal Murray has talked about that, that his dad, who was very significant in training him for the NBA, one of the things Jamal's mental, dad yeah. did was yell at him terrible things when he was practicing shooting free throws. And when Jamal Murray hit two of the biggest free throws of his life to help his team advance in the playoffs. He said, yeah, my dad's saying mean stuff to me. That is yeah, what got me there. Uh, I know that feeling. Too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, like, want... He's not good. Uh, he's going to miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Um, you knew Zion Williamson before a lot of us did, right, playing in AAU together. He said he was a very different kind of kid when he knew you. He said he was so much more shy, always yeah. hanging around his mom. Did you know he was going to be this special a player? when you two played together? Oh, he actually was very shy. Um, <laughs> we would try to, like, you know, have, like, the team around and just try to joke with him to make him laugh. But uh -huh. like you said, he said he was around his mom, but uh, come on the court and score 30. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can't be mad at him for nope. that. But um, <laughs> I always knew he would be a great player. Um, I seen it at his, when he was there, a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just hoping that um, everything he wanted come true. And... I knew he was going to continue to work, and he's, I feel like he'll be a great player in this league. Excellent. Well, we love to play a game on the jump called What Were You Thinking? We got perhaps your future teammate, Jaron Jackson Jr., with that earlier. We will ask you, what were you thinking, John Morant, when you dunked over this poor soul oh, and basically man. cleared a defender? Give this us your thought by thought as you went here. I was at this game. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Oh. There we go. 
that Come one. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, Team Martin. <laughs> um, He'll just go finish the play. Oh, come on. Oh, at, at the same time, I felt like that was a, a dumb decision on his part. Um, but like I said, um, I did you say know. Did you say anything after you landed? You looked at him. What you, what'd you say? There was the little yeah, it was just like a in the moment type of look. I kind of blacked out. So, uh, no air guitar. I really couldn't believe it. Yeah, I couldn't air guitar on that. <laughs> yeah. The goggles, you do the goggles. Right, exactly. You were in the gym yeah. when he did that. What was yeah. the reaction of the crowd? Oh, my God. Like, right? This kid might go number one. Right. You know? But uh, there here we you are. Go. <laughs> and you've emerged, man. Absolutely. And again, wearing a great suit. We do have to get to our buzzer, though, because you are not the only well-dressed person there to here tonight. Bull Bull, son yeah. of the nude, Boom. is wearing a little spider web. What do you think, guys, of the action? on the side of the jacket. Um, I really don't know the meaning of it, but <laughs> it's very different. It looks and, right. You saw um, it up close. I think that's what everybody who uh, in the draft tonight tried to do, uh, be a different in their own way. And I feel like this is the best dress class ever. 